Hi, I'm Christy Fenewald, and I'm here today to show you how to use Awesome Tables, the cards view, for your Google site. I used mine to insert Chrome apps and extensions because I had this extensively long presentation called Let's Get Chromified, and it was beginning to get out of hand. So I inserted the Awesome Tables one. Here's my site so that you can see that. I inserted this so that you could actually sort and search by all the different Chrome apps and extensions that I've reviewed and rated. So you can see here it loads relatively quick. You can search by text. So I can do a search right here just for Chrome and you can see here it searches that. I can search by classroom focus. I can search by app or extension and I can also search by category. So are you ready to learn how I did this? First thing you need to do is you need to go to the Awesome Tables uh, script page. If you just do a Google search for Awesome Tables this one will appear. Then if you scroll down you're going to see several tabs across the bottom. You want to click on the one that says demos. Once you click on demos you're going to see some variety of different types of awesome tables. Now you need to before you get started actually choose what style you want and also your purpose. For me the cards view was the one that I thought would work best for showcasing all the different Chrome apps and extensions but they have a whole bunch of other ones. I'm only going to show you how to do the cards view. So go ahead and click on cards view. And once you've clicked on cards view, you're going to see these tabs over here that say live demo, view spreadsheet, view awesome table settings, and the SIVA app store. The live demo is going to show right here. So that's just showing what it's going to look like in your site. Okay. But the view spreadsheet is where you want to get started. So go ahead and click on view spreadsheet. When you do that, that's going to open up this spreadsheet right here. Okay? This is where all of your data is going to reside. Across the bottom, you'll notice there's an apps tab and there's a template tab. This template tab here, I did not mess with mine personally. So if you do choose to edit it, make sure you take a screenshot of this beforehand so you can make sure that you have something to go back to in case your edits uh, aren't, aren't so friendly. Okay. So going back to the apps, they have what we have here is a title, okay, a description, an image, a link, domain, vendor, compatible device, view, and text search. The title is just where you can insert your title of the product, the description. Here's where you need to get the image URL link, and I'll show you a quick way of how to do that. The link to the product, and then I changed domain, vendor, and compatible device. Okay, Here's what I changed them to. I changed them to category, app and extension, and classroom focus. This allows me for better, better searching. So to do that, you need to make sure you go to file, make a copy, and you want to title this something that you're going to remember. And that also indicates this is for awesome tables. I titled mine Chrome Apps and Extensions Awesome Table. Once I made that copy, I was able to close this Awesome Tables tab right here and just edit this one only. Okay, so as you can see here on mine, my titles are the names of the Chrome Apps and Extensions. The description is both by review and it's also a uh, description from the Chrome App Store. Then the image URL, I'm going to show you how I got that, the link URL. Then I made up my own categories. Okay? I recommend if you type a category once, copy and paste it the next time because if you accidentally do one uppercase and one lowercase, it's going to do them as two separate categories. Same thing goes with app or extension. Just copy that word the next time. And then I did classroom focus. Same thing goes. Once you type something, if you're going to use it again, copy and paste that. Do not mess with the view and the text search columns. Leave those alone. So to get the image URL, I'm going to show you how I got that. So I went to the Chrome Web Store, and then when you are in the Chrome Web Store, you are just going to right click on the image. I chose this because it was easier than downloading them and uploading them to Drive. If you right click where it has this little tack icon, you can choose copy image URL. If you copy that image URL, you can then just go back to your spreadsheet here and you can paste that there. To get the link, 
once again I went to the Chrome Web Store, I opened up the app and you would copy this link across the top in your address bar and paste it right there. You want to complete your spreadsheet first. Okay, That's the way I did it. I found it the most successful. Then you're going to come to your Google site. Okay? You are going to go to the edit button, the little pencil, click on it, and then you are going to go to insert and under more gadgets you're going to type awesome table because it really is awesome. Click on it and then when it gives you this little preview press select. It's going to pull up some settings. The way to get those settings is actually back on that original awesome tables website where you got the spreadsheet. If you click on view awesome table settings you're just going to enter these as you see. So where you see here it says apps then A1 through I. Copy and paste that information. So right here it's completely blank. The Google Sheet URL is going to be your spreadsheet that you made. The link across the top. Make sure that you have your spreadsheet shared correctly. I shared mine for anyone with a link because I want anyone to be able to see it. Okay. And then of course the range do the range that they said right here, which is A1 through I, and then be very careful on that sheet name. Make sure you have that exactly written. Then the next one you're going to do is click on View, and you'll see here you have a bunch of options. Come back to theirs, see what they wrote for View. They clicked on Cards, and then they changed number of columns to 4 to 3, and minimum card width to 160 pixels and maximum card width to 100%. I actually changed mine over here on cards. I changed my minimum card width to 100 pixels because down here under the display you'll notice it defaults to 100% by 600 pixels. I changed my default width to 80% just because I have this odd uh, content space here. You can change it whatever percent you want. Just know that you should probably also change the minimum card width. And do not, even though it has this box here to change something to pixels, don't use pixels. Just use percentage. If you use pixels, it's going to look screwy on a mobile device. Now you're going to click on Format on both of these tabs. Okay, The Format tab you shouldn't have to do anything with. Just let it be. And under Advanced Parameters, the only thing you're going to have to enter is this Templates range. So if you look to see what they wrote, they wrote this. Copy and paste that. Do not try typing that. I did that and I missed this little exclamation mark and it messed with mine. Now here's the most important step, the step that I forgot over and over. You cannot just press OK. You need to click on this green Save button. If you don't click on the green Save button, it's not going to have saved anything that you did. So no matter what step you're last on, you need to press that green save button. I'm going to repeat that one more time. Press the green save button. Once you've done that, you can press OK. I'm just going to press cancel since this is practice. And then you can press save. And that should appear with your awesome table. Now, I'm doing this on a personal Google site. So I have not done it on a apps education domain site yet. So it should work the same, but there's always that case that it may not work the same. But that is awesome tables for you. If you need any more help, I'm going to put all of this on fenovation.org. And I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.